Howdy folks, it's Johan, your favorite little ink blob, back at it today with some more Night in the Woods, and I think we're getting mighty close to the end. I don't know if we're in striking distance today, but we're going to find out. Where we left off, we were we smashed some light bulbs with Greg, and then we started trying to track down the right Harfest. We went to Harfest. Um had our fortune read a bit mystically um and we were part of the play with the janitor coming back i something up with that man um and then we went to the library with b to look at some good old microfiche and figure out what type of ghost is haunting us because i'm sure it's a real ghost definitely but we are now coordinating our effort now that we've found three leads, because we are fantastic investigators. And we have our intrepid crew here to get things rolling. Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right, so... Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah. Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of the ghost. Like, filled with bread and shit. I'm terrified. Okay. So, it mentioned three different places we can all check out. Uh, I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard. I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Mm. Sure is, the Historical Society. You know, you don't have to, like, break in. The people there like to get pa like get paid to show it to you. Anyway. I'm in for the Historical Society. Awesome. So, what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump. Hmm? I know Possum Jump. We used to go there in Scouts. Perfect. I love Angus's ears going up when he smiles. Okay, I need to, like, actually get home and do work. This is gonna be awesome! I'm also scared to death! These do not have to be mutually exclusive. Hey, Dad. Ugh. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The, uh, the uppers. So, uh, you and Mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. We were. We are. Just a bump. You two. Always do alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smartassness. I'd just hate to see the two, uh, you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So, we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad, May, it's fine. It's okay, I'm 20, I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple days. <laughs> I really thought we were about to go off and see ghosts last time, so I was just shy of actually hitting a good stop point. So we did read about the tooth, or we read that there are people like us who are finding teeth mm, kind of buried away in places, and they might belong to an old mine boss who got them pulled out in retribution for hitting a worker. Um, and our grandpa was a troublemaker, so it, it explains why there might be a tooth stash in a safe in our basement. 
hey, let me know when you want to hit the cemetery. They should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like, right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy. It's just... It's fine. He's off to Sleepy Time Junction. Wait, did you fall asleep? What do you think the weird typing was? Lol. Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. It's real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but old stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Oh, Greg. Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map, and it's a pretty straight shot up to Possum Jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tip's hat? He does have a very good little hat. This is Casey, right? Away message. Born to lose, country trash proud, drummer, skate and destroy, skate to create, bound for glory. That's gotta be Casey. Even if you're hopping a train, right? You can still- there's public Wi-Fi. You can go to a library or something. I, I think they are less concerned than they ought to be. Bedtime? Yes. <laughs> Another dream? Another dream. <laughs> how many nights of restful sleep did we get? Like, I can't remember how many nights it was before we had the first dream. Do, do, do. Without the music, these are much more unsettling. Really want to get that first... Oh, okay, that's a spectral fish. And someone floating by in a window. Okay, saxophone. Some sort of music. And then let me guess. We just fall down here. Oh, that's kind of looks like a bear or Angus floating by upside down. Ooh, okay, way down into the woods. Zoom up some buildings. There's that fish again. I Can the fish hurt us? The fish isn't real. It can't hurt you. I feel like we can... Yeah, we can, but there's lights over here. But that is showing there being some... Use. Oh! <laughs> Literally right there. Okay. Accordion sa soothes the savage fish. Jeez. The world that these have been taking place in has gotten progressively more messed up over time. Now the buildings are all wonky, we've got... I mean, there were... We've always had, like, shadowy figures, but... Not defying gravity in ways that makes me concerned for their, he their bodily health. Okay... So we need to go up and to the left. Okay. Like, is this... Are they Angus and B? Are they people we don't know? Background? And why the fish? I mean, why any of the things? Okay. Whew. Fish does not hurt us. We didn't get... So it's been the bear and the squirrel. Was there... Oh, there there was a third one last time. I just... Yeah, I... It feels like there... So we've got the old cult stuff with the teeth. Um, we've got 
the, we've got the church with the like sort of eight pointed star and we've got um, we've got like this the statue of the cannibalistic fire breathing saint so I don't know it it feels like it feels like there is a faith that has been lost or passed over in recent years or I mean relatively recent and I just I I imagine that these uh, big starting to look for a word but I guess astral is probably appropriate given the title of the tracks astral alley and whatnot um, I guess these like big astral animals I have a sneaking suspicion are in some way a representation of the old gods maybe kind of sorta Maybe more like, I mean, this is a small, I guess it became a mining town, but there's still like harvest festivals, perhaps more harvesty gods, but what's about, you know, I, are there any, I'm, I'm trying to think if there are any, um, polytheistic religions, um, I guess I'm thinking in a relatively Western context, but polytheistic religions um, that were recent enough to have, um, oh, okay, a crane catching the fish, or maybe a heron. So, fish was not a god, or if it was, the. Uh, <laughs> um. But any more any polytheistic religion that's been developed recently enough to have like gods of mining and industry in that fashion i guess you could make an argument for like some of the saints and whatnot i don't know not an area of expertise of mine but certainly something that's rattling around in my head right now okay last night inspired me for longest night, I'm getting you a library card. Teaching May to read, or at least getting May interested in reading. You're welcome. I think that would be fantastic. Dude, my mouth tastes weird this morning, like a tire. I'll be at work trying to wash it out with whatever's in the cooler. Oh, I hate that. When you fall asleep in like a weird position, for me it's especially like sitting up, and you can you can feel your mouth in ways that you become like aware <laughs> aware of uh, sensations that you aren't normally away message planets are to be pitied as they cannot know how big and cool they are dr kathy conklin national astronomy agency that's sweet angus just seems like a very nice guy um uh, what there's the I don't even know if it's One Direction or whatnot. It's not a band I normally listen to, but a friend uh, created good memories by being very cheesy with it. The the you don't know you're beautiful. It's and genuinely, it is very hard to tell. I think it's a lot easier to figure out what you like about other people than what you like about yourself. Maybe that's just me, but I think I think there are a lot of times where we can really benefit. You you don't want to tie uh, self-esteem and a lot of your self-importance to what other people think of you, but I think there are a lot of times where we benefit from being able to see ourselves a bit through the eyes of another. So, I think it's a sweet sentiment. All right, our news. Scientists, rising sea levels will increase shark attack frequency for obvious reasons. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> Statistically, probably, but not necessarily. That That is predictive. <laughs> it's, uh, I think it's Pastafarianism that uh, gets across the whole uh, correlation does not imply causation by, well, you know, if you look at it, global warming has increased as the number of pirates have decreased, ergo, we need more pirates to decrease global warming. Hey, bird. Sorry I'm always rude to you. I don't know. You, you say hi. You're not terribly rude to it, beyond putting it in a cage. 
We haven't seen it get fed or anything, though. It also doesn't have a name, which feels a little sad for a pet. Morning, sunshine. You feeling okay? You look a little limp. Yeah, uh, weird dreams. Weird night. You say weird a lot. Just being honest. You taking headache meds? They're in the bathroom cabinet. Yeah, I am. They're kinda working, kinda not. Well, maybe you need more sleep? I mean, more than the ten hours or so you already get? You've always been my sleepy girl. Oof. What did you do last night? Went to the library with B. That sounds nice. It was. Weird. Interesting. Okay, gotta go. Be safe, hon. Take it easy, you really do look a little tired. Getting out makes me feel better. Me too. Maybe it's a good day to get out in the fresh air. I'll let you know. Bye, sweetie. I think, honestly, one of my only sticking points in this game is the um, continued dialogue with the mother feels weird because, like, it gives you, you can do it once and it sort of naturally wraps up, but then you can talk again and you want to, but it feels like you've already sort of said goodbye. But yeah, I don't know. I think it could be done a little smoother. Nice and sunny today. I hate rainy days. Just ne want to never leave bed. I love them. Nice and gray. Sun's too bright sometimes. Need some cloudies. Alright, I'm out. Bye bye, sweetie. And hey, I agree. Overcast is kind of my favorite weather. I bake easily in the sun, so... Having a nice protective cloud layer. I can go to the right? What's over here? Oh. Okay. Farming. I could farm. If I stay in town long enough, I could see getting into the farm life. I don't think May would do very well with the farm life. The problem with farms is the amount of poop. Like, even if you don't have animals, you actually buy poop or something. Shuffle it all over the place. It's madness. It's poop madness. I do love, um, I think it was Otto von Bismarck. Um, ooh, a lovely little truss bridge. But, um, Otto von Bismarck, uh... He was kind of... Okay, I'll, I'll stand on the bridge. It's, it's uh, lovely. Otto von Bismarck, fascinating, fascinating uh, German statesman from before Germany was Germany, back when it was a bunch of the German states, and he was the one who sort of helped really pull together the Confederation, best I understand it. Um, but apparently, basically ignored most of his law school and ended up cramming in the last week and passing. Um, but then, after sort of bouncing around in German politics for a while, got kind of ousted because he was known for being very uh, outspoken, and ended up, uh, oh, what was it? He he ended up on a farm and basically once again started cramming just to be able to understand, hey, how does one get soil to work? Um, and apparently ended up being a very successful farmer for the uh, brief amount of time he was in that before going back into the ring of politics. But I was just... I, I appreciated that this man who had never touched a farm in his life inherited one and just crammed and kind of figured it out. So who knows, maybe May could figure it out. Oh, you get to just sit here. It's really pretty. Um. Oh, do we actually, does the sun move? Because we don't, time, we get the sense of passage of time in the town, but it's not like the day actually moves on because you're allowed to just sort of go and explore. It doesn't look like the sun is actually moving, which I know it's sort of just for the game mechanics, but um, I, I, I like how that sort of creates a sense of timelessness in the town. It's kind of a sleepy little place, and time doesn't move. I don't know. I appreciate it. Bridge freezes before road. Yes, this is true. Less thermal mass. After this, a few miles and you go under hi the highway, and it's just rolling fields and farms. 
I miss the corn mazes this fall. The haunted barn and brittle? Always next year, for campfires and corn dogs. Weird that town ends like, bam, right here. It's like a line, somewhere, that no one can see, but you can put it on a map. It's fun walking out into sort of big rolling farmland. I haven't done it as much as I would like to, but I find it very pleasant. My biggest problem is that you always find this, like, one field that has a gorgeous tree up on a hill. And you want to walk over and sit under it, but you know it's someone else's property. And it's probably not the best idea. But it's there and it looks so aesthetic and you want to just be there and, like, sit under the tree, have a sandwich, read a book. Enjoy the time. I guess I could probably just knock on their door and ask, but that seems rude. <laughs> hey, Selmers. You were great last night. Aw, thanks. Right, her kind of takedown on generational wealth. <clears throat> Having you to bounce ideas off of helped. I am good for that. Want to hear a new poem? Uh, yeah, and I'm glad that we were able to help. This is a short one, because I'm tired. Me too, so that works out. <clears throat> I got mad one time. It was online. I've been mad on the internet before too. It's crazy making. <laughs> Selmers' poetry very much feels like poetry for Selmers, which I think is a good place to be at creatively. Like, it's good to make things for other people, but making things for yourself that then others may or may not enjoy, I think is probably a lot healthier. That's, I really love having people watching me stream. Very much encourage it. Can't even check the viewership numbers right now. So if you're there, hi. If not, it's just me. But um, there's something that's kind of fun when I'm not talking to people, especially playing this game as opposed to like Magic or the other ones where it's more of a uh, thinking strategy thing, whereas this is more of a experiential thing. It's kind of fun, I was realizing yesterday, that I'm here talking to myself and creating a video journal of my thoughts and experiences with this game at this time in my life, and uh, I'm sure that I will probably come back and play it for um, probably several more times down the line. Terribly sorry, I forgot the name of the person who popped in here the other day um, and was saying that they would played it like six or seven times, like once every fall. Um, but you know, I might do something like that, and it's cool that I'm creating, I'll be able to go back and see, compare and contrast how I felt about it this time around versus down the line. I'll have to put up with my own voice, but it's cool that I'm creating that, and I feel good about creating that for myself, and I feel good that it seems that folks have been able to pop in and enjoy sharing the experience. What were you doing at the library? I go to the library. No, but seriously. <laughs> Alligator. Cry. Poor May. She should read more if that's people's opinion, I guess. I play a mean banjo claw hammer. Really? I play bass. We should play together sometime. You know Long Black Veil? Yep. You know Tom Dooley? Yep, my dad likes that stuff. You know Willard Garden? Nope. Eh. We were bonding, man. I thought I thought we had broken the ice. We were two for three. Two for three ain't bad. Oh, that would be fun to just jam out on someone's porch. Again, not that I know an instrument, but sounds cozy. <gasps> Tunnelfish man. Methinks I spy a tunnel shark, scary monster in the dark. Holy crap. I didn't really see it. Please don't listen. But I like your poetry and I want to encourage it. Nuke possum. Ooh! An owlman? Woo! Hi down there! Ahoy there, May! <laughs> Is that Mr. Salvi? What are you doing in a boat? In the tunnel? In the late afternoon? What are you doing home from school? Uh, guess I kinda dropped out. Oh dear, May. Yeah, uh, sorry. 
Why are you apologizing to me? I don't know. So what are you even doing down here? It's my side hustle. Salvi Salvage. What's that? I'm a junkman, May. Are you not mowing lawns anymore? Oh no, I'm still doing the landscaping, but I'm also a pur purveyor of fine goods. For the discerning antique enthusiast. Okay, side hustle. Yeah. You want to come along? Boat ride back into the tunnel. Gonna be a short trip today, but might be fun. Uh, sure. Uh, this probably isn't smart. It's pretty safe. I just need a second pair of hands. Usually I take one of the kids over there. Hey, teens. I'm going on this boat now. Just saying, like, if anyone should ask. Got on this boat with Mr. Salvi here. <laughs> Good idea. People should know where you're going. Okay, thanks. What was... Okay, let's go. I'm... I, I... My voices are not, I suppose, very intentional. I think that's, like... A half-hearted attempt at some sort of strange Scottish accent. I don't know why. We're just rolling with it. Although it reminded me, we've got an owl out here that, whenever it hoots, sounds vaguely Scottish. I don't know how else to... It doesn't sound like an American-accented owl. It sounds like if a Scottish person was imitating an owl, and that's the best I can describe it. I don't know why. And it mostly does it in the middle of the day. So, maybe in my mind, owls are Scottish? Much apologies to Scotland. <laughs> And lots of folks from somewhere else drive past, between Fort Lucene and Willow Grove. And they like going out to an and they like going to antique shops out here. I think they think it's exclusive or something. That's the side hustle. Wow. Do they know it's garbage? It's not garbage. Sorry. Here, we're coming up on one now. You'll see. It's not it's like I think I might be imitating someone else's nautical Im I don't know. This is garbage. It's an island of garbage. Your garbage is my, my priceless and your garbage is my priceless antique. Once it's once it's cleaned up a bit, look around, find something. Is this thing safe to walk on? Oh yeah, years of sediment and rocks and junk. <laughs> you called it junk too. Some of it is. What can I find? Oh wow, it's a thing. A sled? Really bad boat? Maybe you like to sleep in it? Tiny garbage hammock? Should I take this garbage bed? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, love me a mystery garbage object. I, I thought it was a tennis racket. Huh, big axe. Do I want a big garbage axe instead of this other thing? Well, an axe is probably better. This, it's so big and axy. I do love, again, like we're just shadows. Even in the light, we're just shadows. Good lighting. Find anything good? Killer garbage axe! Oh, nice. Looks like an old fire axe from somewhere. Axe murderer gar axe, axe murderer garbage axe. Yes, you could conceivably murder someone with this. Have to sharpen it first. Oh, I'll sharpen it. Planning on murdering someone? I keep my options open. Maybe a ghost? Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Who really need other people to know where they were going? And somehow he'd run over his own foot. No. With the mower. Ah. Uh, yeah, he's got. Uh, yeah, he's. Yeah, he's got a limp now. But he still comes to work. Jeez. Gotta work. Oof. Okay, so remember how I said I need a second pair of hands? Oh yeah, what was that about? So, there's a little panel back where you are. Gonna need you to use it and move this light up here. Are we- wait, what? We got bats down here. So? I don't like bats, but bats like bugs, and bugs like light. So you're gonna shine that light all around and get them to scatter. Looking for bugs. They mostly go away for a while when they scatter. Oh, okay. No, oh, get ready, we're coming up on a place where they like to cluster together. Okay, I got it. Here we go. Up above me. Uh. 
Okay, got him. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. Sure were a lot of them. Ugh, I hate them. But bats are cute. They are not? Can I take a bat home? Ain't no bat getting on my boat. Sooner swim back than have a goddamn bat on my boat. Okay, okay, okay. No bats. No bats. Alright, we're coming up on another island. Garbage ho! <laughs> what you call me? This actually seems... Like, even if you weren't making money off of it, if you could support it, I think this would be fun. You wanna look... Uh, you, you're gonna look around... You're gonna look around. No, I'm gonna hang out in the boat. Of course I'm gonna look around. <laughs> you're sarcastic like your dad. You still talk to my dad? Oh yeah, I get my meats from him once a week. Last fall, us and some of the boys from the factory days went up to Sto Studer's? Studer's old hunting camp. You get anything? Edgress. Edgress got a six point buck. Oh, nice. Alright, let's go. We got a schedule to keep. And hey, May's dad's probably mighty useful. No I assume knows how to butcher some stuff. Oh my god. It's a coconut monkey. Like the one da granddad brought back from Hawaii. Do I want this coconut friend? I mean, it's kind of stinky and soft. Like, do I want a coconut friend in general? Yes. Is there maybe something better? Also yes. Holy shit. Dracula teeth. These are so rad, I could totally be a Dracula. All of the false teeth in the world. Dracula teeth are the best. Should I take these excellent Dracula teeth? Bleh. Why do Dracula say bleh? I'm gonna put these in and find- No. Yeah. Should probably clean them first. I- I- Do not put in the garbage vampire teeth, please. I don't know what a coconut monkey is, but I- I can't imagine it cleans up well. Find anything good? Dracula teeth! Oh, wow. I remember these. They still make them. Now there's a market, now there's a market that never goes away. People will always want to be Draculas. I don't want to be a vampire. No choice, I'm gonna put these in. Oh god, please don't, they're disgusting. Gonna bite ya. Alright, let's keep going. Bleh. But remember, doesn't Dracula mean son of the dragon in Romanian? Isn't that like... Just Bram Stoker went, oh that sounds cool, let's make that a vampire. So, I don't know. I, I wouldn't mind being a Dracula, just maybe not a vampire. That's how I saved Longest Night. <laughs> wow. Did you ever tell your kids? What? No, it'd spoil the magic. Did they ever notice your neck scar? If they did, they never said nothing. Did the cops ever catch the guy? Oh no, he's still out there. But he ain't coming back anytime soon. Wow, great story. Alright, we're coming up on another bat nest. Do bats have nests? Whatever, get the light ready, shine it up there and get rid of them. Aye aye, sir. Here they come. Oh, missed a few. Uh -uh. Wow. Did most of them leave? I think so. I got them good. Phew. Thanks, kid. I'm 20. <laughs> well, at my age, that's plenty kid enough. Rude. Gonna, coming up on another island. How many of these are down here? Oh, I ain't counted. Seem to find new ones all the time. And lose old ones. Spooky. We're pretty far back now. It's always a bit spooky. Yeah, that's... May, I think, is overly sensitive to being called a kid. Because, like, in the grand scheme of things, you're still a kid even in your early 20s, right? Even when you're, you know, just up and coming in comparison. Like, I, I often see it as like a term of endearment from older to younger generations, right? I think I've seen 30 and 40 year olds called kid by uh, grandparents. So I think I think May is just a bit, a wee, a wee bit sensitive to being called a kid when I think it's meant in a very good natured spirit. Like, okay, she isn't working, but look at all of the stuff she's doing and exploring. And that's important. 
especially for someone who was going to college and dropped out. She's she's finding other ways to explore her interests, which I think is just as valid, and it's part of her getting there. It's all part of a journey. Whoa, old trolley car over there. Yeah, we're getting close to where the flood really hit hardest. I can't imagine this place still up and running. It was quite something. Had a sense of going somewhere. Yeah. Way back when they got these new trolley cars, they were designed by some company overseas. Big and fancy, like France or something. They are pretty. Yeah, they still got their charms. You gonna look around? Sure. So I think... I think I read somewhere that... Um, in North Korea, a lot of the... Um, train cars are still... Uh, were manufactured in East Berlin or East Germany. And so... Then, because of how information is locked down there, there's a lot of folks that still think that, you know, East Germany is a place you can visit, that Yugoslavia is a place you can visit, these countries that haven't existed for decades. Which is just a very weird and interesting little time capsule, I think. Oh, huh. Wonder how old this is. It's pretty soggy. What sport even is this? It's a sports mystery, the worst kind of mystery. It's pretty, though. Do I want this thing? So, it's this or a football helmet? Could hang it on the wall. That'd be pretty neat. And then look up. Then look up what it's even for. Cool, cool, cool. You know what? For once, I'm going to ignore something that we can get dialogue from. Let's simply take the weird sports thingy. Find anything good. Check this out. Oh, wow. That's an old hockey pennant. How old? Like, really old? Ugh. 1970s, 80s? Oh, that's like, medium old. We had a hockey team back then? Sure did. Ice Arena used to be out where Ham Panther is now. Jeez, so much stuff used to be here. Lots still here. But yeah, lots gone. And most of it's ended up down here. Any more bats to get rid- Any more bats to get rid of? Nah, they don't come back this far to sleep. They fly around a good bit back here, though. Unless you clear them off before you get here. Where even are we? Almost to the platform. Oh wow, is that where we're going? Well, we got rid of most of the bats back there, so maybe we can make one last stop at the big one. The big one? I thank god I wasn't down here when the flood hit. The river jumped, right? Yeah, flood was bad enough, river just up and moved. Had something to do with the reservoir too, I forget. Guess it was a while ago. Weird to think that rivers can move. Oh, they're always moving, kid. One year old. They're just they're just usually moving in one direction. No one's really prepared for when it stops doing what it's always been doing. Feel like there might be some parallels between the river and May. Hmm. Alright, here we are. The big one. Wow. This looks like something I dreamed, or something. It's familiar some ways. Back then they thought the trolleys would stay on the track, come a big flood, but nah, they went right they went right along with the water, bobbing up and down, crashing into big piles like this. Jeez. Can't fix something like this. What are you gonna do? Dam up the river, dig this whole thing out? Nobody got that money. Nobody got that time. This is like Visiting, visiting someplace beyond the grave. Like, where you go when you die. Some folks did die down here. Oh, yeah. Gonna find some skeletons? You're gonna go look around? Have to say, not much back this far, usually. Most stuff washes in from side channels. Gets caught up back where we came from. Yeah, I think I'll still look around. Yeah, you might find some stuff that you don't want to find back here. Wonder what this used to lock up. Really old lock. Pretty neat key. Someone bought this to keep something safe. A secret. Do I want to take this? Yeah. This thing has, like, someone's intentions in it. Or something. It feels heavy. Someone should have it. Hmm. Yeah, that's... I, I've thought a lot about, you know, intentions being in things. But I... 
I didn't realize how much this game explicitly dealt with that. So I'm wondering how much of that actually is original thought versus things that I picked up from the game and forgot that I did. Wow. Wonder if it still works? Should probably clean all of the mud out of it first. Do I want to take this? Even more than the lock? No. I got nowhere to put it, and I can't play it. I also feel like some horn playing ghost is gonna haunt me if I take it from here. I mean, that probably also had someone's hopes and dreams as a musician, but I think I like the lock being... Someone should have it. I agree. That's... You come across in some places the, like, uh, padlocks that get put on a chain link fence for, like, a relationship, and you just, you wonder how many of those are actually still around if people bother to come back, especially when they're, like, a little cheapy bike lock. I don't know, th there's a, there's a big charm to it. It's particularly funny when it's a combination lock, since those aren't, you don't even have to cut those off. Those aren't that hard to, um aren't that hard to basically figure out uh, what the numbers are, just trial and error. So, <laughs> it's, it's a little less symbolic than getting one and then throwing away the key or the like. Find anything good? Got a lock and a key? Oh, what are you gonna do with that? I don't know, I just figured someone should have it. Hmm, that's thoughtful, May. I feel like we're a thousand miles away from Possum Springs. Yeah, we're not so far though. Let's get going. Here we are. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Back to a platform. Hmm. Okay. Is this a different mural? So that's it. That's the other mural. Hmm. It's so. Yeah. Yeah. Basically the only thing back here that survived the flood. Hmm. Just think it's nice that it's not gone. Yeah, I guess. Since the miners getting off work, going into the hills. That is pleasant. Forgotten maybe, but not gone. Well, not forgotten yet. Wonder if in like 500 years, some archaeologists will find it. Wonder what it meant. Sometimes, I think in 50 years, no one will know what it meant. Places can't control how they're remembered. They just hang out, and then fall apart. Oh, is that the the poem Ozymandias? I uh, saw a traveler from a distant land, and it's about the uh, statue of, I think, Ramses, and how it's all broken and strewn about, except for the pedestal that says... Behold, behold ye mighty, or behold ye mighty, look upon my works in despair, or something like that. And yeah, you do, you don't get to control how a place is remembered, but there is, as the game is really talking about, there's kind of a memory that does dwell within it. You okay? You okay, May? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm just gonna look for a minute. Take your time. Oh, interesting. It, it yeah, it it forces you to actually look for a little bit. That was good. Oh, the boat's called June Bug. That's lovely. But yeah. No, that's as especially that's I've never done like Urbex, um, but I've watched some stuff, but urban exploration is really cool because it's it's recent stuff that is already already really changing how it's remembered old pickaxe I want to check out the church kind I guess I kind of like working right to left that way I don't forget things and leave big gaps want to see what the game has to offer. I feel like probably this time and then maybe even the next time I'll be doing something similarly thorough. 
and then probably, you know, th third or fourth time through, I'll maybe go quicker because then it's just remembering things more than experiencing new things. Hey, Bruce. Getting kind of cold, huh? Yeah, nip in the air at night. I like fall when it gets cold. Me too. Real pretty out as well. I used to cry at, I used to cry at fall trees when I was a kid. Why? Because they were so pretty. Hmm. I did that when my daughter was born. You have a daughter? Yep. Where is she? Hmm. Sorry. It's fine. A little awkward, but yeah. Bruce has Bruce has a life. Bruce has people he cares about. Oh, okay. Crossbow wolf. I feel like that's going to have us do something. Still can't see the pentagram, I assume? Yep, no pentagram. I think those goth kids were pulling our leg. Hey, Jen. Hey, May Borowski? Yeah. What are you doing back here? Does Greg know you're back? Nah, just here for a day. Had to pick had to pick some stuff up from Greg's mom. All in back to school tonight. Ah. Didn't you go to school? What are you doing here? Mm, dropped out. Dropped out, kinda. I like being honest about it. Oh, sorry to hear that. Eh, whatever. What are you going for? I want to do fashion design. Is that a job you can get? Theoretically. You still go crossbow hunting? Rick used to have a crossbow too, I think. Yeah, I still hunt rabbits and stuff. Nothing big. Don't get much chance at school. I was shooting at that tree over there, then I noticed there was a dude sleeping behind it, so I stopped. But yeah, that's Bruce. He's nice. Well, I'm just glad I didn't accidentally put a bolt in his face. Oh yeah, that'd be bad. Checking down range is smart. Well, it was nice seeing you. You still see Greg sometimes? Oh yeah, all the time. Well, tell that cousin of mine he needs to come see me out in Bright Harbor. Oh, uh, yeah. Will do. He's not leaving here. Oh, I don't know. I think he should. Guy's gotta spread his wings. Maybe his wings are just fine here. Nah. Greg's too much for this town. Huh, <laughs> no argument there. See ya. Take it easy. Jen, Greg's cousin, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. May... That was not cool, May. May has some feelings and doesn't want her friends to move on without her. I get that, though. Change is a lot, and sometimes, sometimes it's tough to be happy for the changes in other people's life when the changes in yours aren't feeling, aren't feeling good or feeling kind of out of control. Hey, you free? Maybe. Want to go on a quick adventure? Don't you have a job? Master's gone. I'm gonna skip out. Aw oh, yeah. Let's skip work. Only I'm skipping work, hun? Oh, hush. I'm an accessory to the crime. Also not a crime, sweetie. Well, it depends. Are you still clocking the hours? <laughs> oh, oh. I remember this. Okay. Kinda. I don't think I've ever been up here. We used to come here all the time. Did we? No, we as in my friends and I when we were your age. Oh, okay, I'm not used to you using any other Wii's. Believe it or not, I've had several Wii's. Huh. I love that. We as a sort of way of defining a chapter of your life. It's, I've heard it said before. Oh, this is nice. Used to be a lot more trees up around here. They got cut down when they put in the towers. I don't remember that. You know, all kinds of things happened before you were born. What? Some minor parts of history took place, yes. That's, um... I've heard it said before that, like, when you lose a friend in some capacity, the idea of not necessarily mourning the friend, but mourning the shared language that you had, because that's lost as well. 
It feels connected. I like that. I also, I love, I love going on walks in my neighborhood and seeing the power lines just stretching out. I know a lot of them go through private property, but it's cleared out under them for the most part. And you know they're connected across the country with power with uh, power plants and whatnot. And there's part of me that would love to just walk them at some point. I, just, I don't think there's any feasible way to do that, but to just walk from one side of the country to the other, just find a starting point and go following the power lines. I, yeah, I don't think we're set up for that anymore, especially, you know, I'm trying to probably crash at like hotels or whatnot, see if I can work for, basically work for my stay or whatnot. But I think, I think that would be cool. And it's the type of thing that you hear about getting done, so who knows? Maybe I'll figure it out. I think I'll need to be a lot less anxious before that happens, though. Oh, oh. <laughs> we fit together so perfectly. Aww. <laughs> so, what is this place? Jenny's Field. Ever heard of it? No, I don't think. Back in the 30s, there was this woman and her daughter walking here. And the woman's daughter is in front of her. And then she's just gone. Like, disappeared. What happened? Turns out there was a sinkhole that opened up when a pillar collapsed in the mines in the hill. Jeez. Yep, no one could see it because of the grass. Her name was Jenny. This is Jenny's field. They never found her. Just... Whisp, gone. So, wait. Why are we here? <laughs> Just look at the flowers, May. What? You're not up for a little risk-taking? Ta risk mm. <laughs> you know May, of course she is. Ooh. What's wrong? <laughs> I thought it was a... I thought it was a sinkhole thing. Mm. How about that? Hmm. <laughs> that's... I remembered that, but that's... That's really solid. That's a really good use of the level design for storytelling. Okay, what is that? For some reason, before Unified pulled out, they brought this old lime furnace up on the mountain. Why? Who knows? Unified did a lot of things. Looks like it's been here forever. It's just sunk into the ground a lot. Like Jenny. But slower. We used to climb up there. Wanna try? <laughs> oh, sweetie. I had you and also a lot of birthdays and donuts since then. Not much climbing. Yeah, but I can climb. No, oh, that's I um there have been there's a couple of places that I've been to, gone hiking, that um have like an old lime kiln or whatnot. I love love the abandoned industrial stuff. So, uh good thing this chimney is sealed up here. <laughs> yes, good thing. What can you see up there? It's been a while. Uh, awesome springs and the. So, looking to the past and the things that are the same, or the new? Let's look to the new. The highway. What does it look like? A river, but like made of concrete with cars? A snake, but like. Oh. So, is it a river like we were talking about earlier, or is it a snake? Like Big Snake? Hmm. I like the river analogy. Again, we're sort of looking to the new. Like a river. A river, but like made of concrete with cars. Always rolling by the river. Oh, that river, it's big. Are you singing? Yeah. It's from a musical? Maybe? It is now. Very nice. I remember I couldn't tell if being up there made everything feel bigger or smaller. How did- I hadn't noticed until now. The singing, they made the text sort of go up and down like the bubble. But the text itself, they've done the, like, sort of redrawing overlay so that it has a very, like, hand-drawn- Oh, that's- that's really subtle. It's subtle enough that obviously I didn't pick up on it, but that's really sweet. And they do a very good job of making- again, it's the little details. It's a weird feeling. Yeah, I know that one. I used to have a dream when I was your age, where I was in the big parking lot out by the tracks, and I'd start running, but there was always more parking lot. Hmm. What do you think it meant? I don't know. Feels weird to tell you what your dreams mean. Why? 
You're my mom. Hmm. Fair. Yeah, but... Parents are just as confused as you most of the time. The one secret I've managed to figure out, even at my young age, is... No one knows what's going on! And the people who tell you they do are often full of it, and that's how they try and cope with not knowing what's going on. Why did we come up here today? Well, I was hoping you'd fall in a sinkhole, obviously. That didn't work out. Drat. Guess I'll just have to keep you. I couldn't see what your expression was when you said that. Do you need to? No. That's... Getting that way with friends over text, trying to <laughs> deal with teasing and sarcasm. It was a process. Well, see you at home. Hey! Oh, got an achievement for visiting Jenny's field. Mom. Oh, still funny though, with the meats! And mom, yep, the bleeding out. <laughs> Don't think we're quite at the end. Um, we still got to investigate some of the leads and whatnot, but just had a lovely little time with our mom out in the, out in Jenny's field, which I'm just now noticing. We've got a little depiction depiction of Jenny buried in the sinkhole. So we'll see. I honestly don't remember how much is left of the game at this point. Okay, no one in the church. Oh, but, yes, yeah, so, since now, uh, now we're here playing Night in the Woods, um, did read the, um, Library of Babel story, and absolutely gorgeous. I love speculative fiction like that. Um, even when I'm sitting there going, well, okay, why does he assume that it's, uh, periodically repeating rather than you know, why doesn't it eventually go into a different order of the same books? Or why not go to 411 pages or 409? You know, um, it's interesting though, because there's room for argument. It's him coming up with a theological argument for it, and you can agree or disagree. Um, I'm curious why they have knowledge of languages that, if it's not connected to our world, why why would they worry about, um, you know, elements of Arabic and whatnot? Because what is Arabic? Is any of the information meaningful if all of the information is there and there's not a way to necessarily interpret it? It's, it's a fascinating think piece. Um, I'm still, I don't know... I feel like there's ways to connect it to Night in the Woods. I haven't quite put them together yet since I've only sat with the story for a day. But it was good. I appreciate it. I love short stories like that. Um, it did somewhat remind me of a uh, Arthur C. Clarke short story called The Nine Billion Names of God, where a religious order believes that God's name is a combination of eight letters, and they've made it their order's task to essentially... Um, transcribe every possible combination of those until God's name is found. That's what they believe the purpose of humanity is. Um, and so, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I think there's... Obviously, it's on the surface level of the multiple combinations of things, but also searching for meaning, the uh, trying to ascribe meaning in a religious sense to stuff. Some good, some good stuff there. And so I'm, I'm terrible because I hear things, I think about them, I chew on them, and then, like, a year later I'll go, Oh, right, that connects to this thing. Hey. Hello. I'm May. Hello, May. I'm Salim. Are you a busker? Are you busking? What's busking? I don't know. I think it's when you play outside and people give you money. Are you going to give me money? No. Then I'm not busking. <laughs> Streaming. Basically busking. Are people going to give me money? No. Well, then I'm not busking. I'm doing this for fun. Cool. 
Just a little fiddler on the roof. You drawing something? Yeah, drawing a bad guy for a movie. Have you like filmed anything ever? I made a little movie with my phone, and I pirated some movie programs. It's real bad. Uh, what's it? I play bass real bad. What's it about? Interested in her? Um, lady finds a window in her wall that wasn't there before. And it's like looking at her backyard, but it's always sunset, and there's a guy standing there she can't quite see. Jeez, that's actually kind of creepy. Really? I am creeped. Oh, thanks. I thought it sucked. Where'd the idea come from? Yeah, where did the idea come from? I like a lot of horror movies that are really gory, but gory isn't always scary, so I was thinking of what's scary, and I don't know. You're at home, but there's something new, or maybe just never noticed it before. There's someone strange very nearby, and I don't know. Hmm. What? Nothing. Creepy. Alright, I'm off. See ya. Later. Change. Change scary. Um. While we're walking. Um. Caller, I think you mentioned um, the Library of Babel because you were saying that was like the one short story you had really dug into. Um, I'm just, I'm curious, how did you come across it? Why, why is that one that you're like, I want to read this and dig into it? Visit old pickaxe later, because that, I think, that's a CB. <gasps> raccoon! I don't know if that's the raccoon we were supposed to see by the town center, but it's a raccoon! There he is! He's just loafing. Not loafing. Uh, trundling. There we go. That's a good word. I can't believe they just leave the band stuff in there. What if someone steals it? What if the building falls down? I should start taking Greg's base home. Just, you know, in case. <laughs> right. Okay, that would probably let us go say hi to Angus. We haven't been able to go in there before. What this? Oh! This is, um... Greg and Angus home. Oh! Okay, so we can go up here now. What the hell is a malt? <laughs> Good question. You no, know, it's something done to milk, and that's about all I can say. Smelters, folks. Hey, you never told me why you were feeling down the other day. Do I gotta tell you everything? No, no. Just asking is all. Well, ask someone else. Hmm. Hmm. You are not obligated to share your feelings, but... I, I, you know, he seems nice. You're friends. Do I know you? No. Oh, aren't you Greg's cousin? You really look like his cousin. Not his cool cousin Jen, like the other cousin? Nah. Who are you then? Why are you here? I'm trying to find your city council. Town council. We're a town. Right. Why are you looking for them? Supposed to be demoing an infrastructure and municipal services management program. What? Helps you manage things like snow plows and broken hydrants and stuff. Oh yeah, we have those sometimes. I just figured it'd be helpful. I don't know, lots of places are just scared of new things. Just want to keep things like they are forever, falling apart. It's frustrating. You are really into this, huh? I mean, it's my job, so... I had a job. I bagged groceries. Do program something to make that job not suck? Well, soon it's all gonna be robots anyway, so. Jeez, yeah. Huh. I got it! You're Donna's cousin! Yeah! She used to babysit me. Oh wow! Are you the kid that killed a bird with her mace? It was an accident, and I was like nine! Ha! Uh, 
I thought it was perfume or something. I thought the bird would like it. Well, you were nine. It died, like, instantly. Just, ah, woof. Dead. Oh my god. Okay, well, I'm gonna go. Good luck. Try not to kill anything. No promises. Kind of makes you wonder how much of some of the bad stuff that May has done has been her bad, her being bad versus just kind of not thinking things all the way through and not reevaluating after the fact. I will absolutely talk to Germ. Just check him. Anything new? No. Oh, gotcha! So it's one of those things that's just sort of been an abstract. Gotcha! I'm trying to. Th I I know I've had stuff like that where it's something that I guess night in the woods, kind of, sorta of just something that I love but haven't necessarily engaged with. Like I'd watched it, but um, Paradise Lost actually is probably a good example. I have read some of it. I got through like maybe the first third of it, but um. You know, it, it's one that I've been introduced to from some of the stuff that I've read into various, like, it, looking into, like, some of the concepts surrounding Satanism and whatnot. Um, there's a lot of sects of it that are not, like, going for the more, like, Christian theological aspect, but are really, in a lot of ways, more like a theistic punk. Um, always a bit afraid to dig into something too quickly in case it doesn't stick with me and I don't get it. That's fair. Um, in case it doesn't stick with me and I don't get it. Oh, yes, Lord of the Flies. I got it out like a year ago to read and it's just been sitting there. I'm I'm absolutely terrible with that. Um, but yeah, and you know, it's there are things that sort of like are part of the zeitgeist. They're they're part of cultural knowledge, and there are things that you read around, but you don't necessarily engage with. I get that. Um, I don't I don't know if I don't engage with them because I'm worried that it's not going to stick or I don't get it. I mean, obviously, I've, I've now read the Library of Babel, and I don't know if I fully get it, but I've gotten something out of it, and I think it's okay if you don't necessarily get the same thing that the author was intending, or if you don't get everything that you're ever going to get out of it. And people might go, wow, your analysis is silly. But if you get something out of it, even if it's perhaps a misinterpretation, you've still gained that concept. It's still something that you can work with. I think for me, a lot of times, it's simply a... I sometimes worry about engaging with the piece of media because I love so much thinking about the idea of it that I'm worried about engaging with the reality of it, I'm going to lose some of that in potentia to the actualities. Um, but, you know, it's whatever whatever gets you thinking, whatever you're comfortable with is important, so long as you're just a little bit uncomfortable and helps prod some new thought. So, whatever works, right? Hey. Hey. What? Want to hang out? I got plans later. Okay, well, I don't think you're gonna get kidnapped or anything. Yeah, sure. Hop on my bike. Really? Where is it? Tied up behind the food donkey. I guess you could, like, run behind. Okay, fine. You sure your bike's gonna be safe? Yeah, I don't think anyone's been in that shed for years. Whoa, we're at the bridge that opened up. Sorry you fell off. That's cool. I feel so alive. Scrapes are cool like that. Let's get my elbow. Hit my head. <laughs> I hit my head pretty hard. Did you hurt your brain? Nah, I got a thick skull. That's cool. So, what are we doing here? Do you trust me? Hmm, never thought about it before. Okay. Bye. Whoa. Ah! Oh my god, germ! Oh jeez, dude. Hey. What 
the hell, man? Jump, it's fine. Oh, for real? Uh, oh, ouch. Dude, you scared me to death. Why? You jump off big stuff all the time. Yeah, but like, that's in town. Nice flat grounds. Not like I can just go jumping off cliffs and whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot you grew up in town. So what are we doing? Yeah, so Germ 100% does not live. <laughs> Germ is just a little feral child. I come here a lot. Wanted to show you something. You hang out at the sewer pipe? Are you showing me the sewer? I thought you'd be interested. I saw like 10 rats down here once. Okay, that's pretty cool. Maybe some of them are my little rat babies. I am the mother of vermin. Okay, so... I started coming down here a few months ago to like, just hang. Okay. And I noticed... Oh hey, rabies! I'm mostly distraught and intimidated by the prospect of it being so much bigger than anything I'd ever think of myself. Maybe a bit folly, but that's my pretty self-consternation and whatnot. You're concerned about it being than anything you'd ever think of yourself. As in... The... Con the concepts that's presenting of this infinite library is, like, intimidatingly big? Or reading the story itself, the it's intimidating because you feel like you would never be able to come up like a, with a story like that? Or some third option that I'm not? Oh, hey, Rabies. Ah! Rabies is my sewer friend. Its name is Rabies? His name is Rabies? His name is Rabies? I found him when they pulled that body out of here, after that big flood a few months ago. Oh, neat. He was sad and wet and hungry, so I brought him chips and ice cream. Sounds right. And I wanted the other possums to not pick on him, so I named him after something they're all afraid of. This is the best story ever. He's so rad. Hey, Ramis, speak. <laughs> I don't think I can make feral possum noises, but that's amazing. Oh my god. He's gonna rule this whole ravine someday. You be nice to me, okay, Rabies? I love him. You got any pets? I got some rats downtown. Sweet. So there's like weird stuff on the walls in here. Ancient cave paintings. Not new, at least. What do you think it means? If you sleep here, you might drown. Ra Rabies is trash king. It's a prophecy, written by ancient hobos. There's like, all kinds of secret places like this around town. I'm like the only person to really map the- Rabies- Hey Rabies, what you got there? Oh my god, is that a fiasco bar? You want me to unwrap that for you, guy? Holy effing crap. He is the best. This is the next phase of evolution. Rabies is more than just Sewer King. <laughs> Dear Lord. You should take him home. No way, he'd be all over everything. And dig a hole in the wall and live there. Oh yeah. Rabies is wild. Let him be wild. Oh, look, he's eating it. I feel like Germ might be the wisest person we've encountered. Save maybe the janitor, but we on we've only seen him twice. See ya. <laughs> oh, falling off the bridge. You know, Germ... Germ has a lot going on. He has a respect for nature. He has a lot of respect for... How things have sort of a spirit to them. Oh, it being so much bigger than anything I'd ever think of myself. Saltwater drinker. Oh, just got in. What is this game about? Um, still, still kind of figuring that out myself. Um. I've, it's a game I've watched, but not fully played through, but it it's about this gal, May, 
being a uh, lovely little trash gremlin who went to college for about two years, came home, and refuses to explain to anyone why, now is kicking around town trying to figure out her next steps while everyone else is kind of moving on around her. We've had some weird spooky ghost stuff happening, we've been having weird dreams, and we've seen someone we think get kidnapped and possibly stabbed, but no one else is as concerned as we are. <laughs> so, currently we're bopping around, just sort of exploring what's going on, but we're soon going to be heading off with some of our friends to try and figure out... follow some of these leads, try and figure out what is actually going on, what we actually saw. It's, I think so. Hey, B. Oh, so cholera. I feel intimidated that once I mention it and talk amongst people who discuss it professionally, I would have a hard time to connect it with what I know. Okay. So it, it's sort of a... <laughs> All good, yeah. But no, that's... I can understand that. There, there's sort of... There's the... I put in the effort. It's something where I actually engage in it. Now I have... There's sort of an expectation that I get it, and I'm nervous about other people thinking I don't get it or whatnot. I, I can see that. Hey, B. Hey, May. I think I'm gonna burn this place down. Oh, cool. But also, maybe it might have consequences? Oh, we could take the insurance money and, like, not do this. What if you get caught? I saw a show where they caught someone doing that. Huh. They're going to burn this place down for me. Oh, cool! But also, maybe I'd go to jail? No, you have no motive. No one would suspect, except your friends, so... But hey, I mean, May was figuring out how to get out of jail with Greg earlier, so... She'll be fine. So, work's not going well. Ugh. Okay. I'll actually do it. Please don't actually do it. Okay, fine. Do you, did you want to check out? Or <clears throat> did you want to check out the graveyard? Nah, not today. Actually, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Cause so we've got the graveyard with B. We've got possum jump with Angus, which I'm really looking forward to since we haven't gotten to hang out with Angus. And then the historical society with Greg. Let's go with B. Hopefully we can patch up things. Um, we since we had the whole fight with her. Oh, it, still terrible. I, I'm on one monitor, so I can't see it. But sounded like a follow. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, we had a big fight with B earlier because she's working um, and supporting her dad, who's kind of depressed after her mom died. And we kind of sort of patched it up by helping her run a play at the store for like a harvest festival, but. Uh, we still haven't really had a chat about some of the things that were said. Foggy. Always got that evening fall fog. Collects between the ridges. It's spooky. I don't know. Good spooky. I get really sad because it's not here year-round. I like the fog, too. I've talked about that. There was, um... I, actually, I really enjoy cemeteries. Um... One of my favorites, weirdly enough, there was a little cemetery. It was like a historical one, one of the first in the state. Um, that was, it's this little fenced in enclosure, and it's right across from like a fast food restaurant, and it's got this huge, gorgeous maple growing up and over the street between them. But there's just something about this like weird little isolated vibe of this graveyard that's been here for 100 plus years, right next to a fast food restaurant in the parking lot of like a big um, uh, wholesale store and it's I, I the contrasting vibes are so good and so weird well there's the statue ooh also spooky I thought you were like actually kind of afraid I mean I am but like whatever so we wait here yeah and a ghost shows up uh this isn't dumb. Don't act like this is dumb. Hey, I'm along for the ride. <laughs> Not at all awkward. 
Know any ghost stories? Not off the top of my head. Okay, what's scary? Uh... Things are, like, monumentally screwed up right now. And no one in power gives a shit. Or they're actively making it worse. Out of spite or profit. Whoa, jeez. I meant, like, a skeleton or something? Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay, okay. We'll have a spook off. I say something, and you make it spookier. Alright. How about this? A skeleton in your hallway at night, or a skeleton outside your window? Think outside your window, because then there's still, like, the measure of safety, but impending danger? Skeleton outside your window. A regular stranger person outside your window. He's smiling. He's, he's smiling, because that seems incongruous. And he's from the bank. Oh, come on. He's here to tell you they're gonna take your house. This is just depressing. And he's a zombie. Okay, fine. That works. Zombie bank guy. All the things you're afraid of are boring. The scariest stuff is, like, really, really boring. Oh my god, Beatrice. What were we supposed to be doing? Watching a statue or something? This is dumb. Let's go. <laughs> Ah, May. Uh, the, a very consistent temper. But no, that's, I, I do think a lot of the best horror is very boring. It's existential, even Lovecraftian stuff is kind of like, it's, it's the stuff that gets you thinking with a creeping dread. I mean, like, look, I have a bit of a blood phobia, so I will scream like a small child upon seeing blood, so I'm not a big fan of slashers, but... That's like a reflexive phobia as opposed to fear. It doesn't stick with me the rest of the day, necessarily. Okay, so. I'm gonna go visit my mom. She's right down there. Oh, okay. Give me a minute or two, okay? Totally. No problem. Sorry. Sorry about what? About your mom and all. It's okay. It happens. Cool, cool, cool. I'll check out some graves. Alrighty. I took a class on death and dying, but I couldn't get into the dinosaur class back at school. It's like, something I actually know about. Cool. I'll meet you back up here then. Let's check out a grave or three. That is, a, I do find that sort of field of study cool, uh, at least uh, from the folks I've spoken to who have done some of that study. Um, uh, thanatology, basically sort of the study of how people interact with the death of loved ones or the fear of death themselves it's you know it's it's a big thing to try and grapple actually uh we'll come back and talk to her i thought there would be graves to check out this way but maybe back to the left um but yeah i i think it's a it's an interesting thing to study and dealing with like grief counseling but Not sure how May would feel about uh, that as a class. Rose, aged 95 years. Oh, there's the eight-sided star of the church again. Hmm, standard headstone, nothing fancy. Clearly religious. Can't really be sad about this. 95 years, wow, that is impressive. When she was born, the most high-tech thing was horses. <laughs> okay. She had to, like, look out a window to see a horse. And now we have, like, pictures of horses on the internet? Like, any horse you can think of. She saw us from horses to internet horses. Decent run. True. Not necessarily how I would phrase it, but... <laughs> it's accurate. Taken by the flu, 14 years old. Yeah. Aw, oh, dang. Lived, like, 14 years? That's not enough time. Poor family. Let's focus on her. That's not enough time. Probably never said anything anyone could understand. You should get off at least one good sentence in life. That's... 14 is... 14 is fine for that Hello, groundskeeper, who I'm sure is delighted to have us here. Maybe one more grave first? Yeah. Brad Boyson. A bike? Ooh, fancy. This guy was a fancy guy. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna guess. Crashed his bike. 
or was hit by a bike, he loved his bike. I mean, yeah, probably loved his bike. I assume you're not going to memorialize the thing that caused grievous injury. He loved it so hard, he smooched it. So right. Jeez, B. How long does a mom visit take? Tick tock, Beatrice, we got places to be. Holy crap, I am a jerk. I was gonna say, uh, it's gonna take a while because it's not just a visit. Hey. Evening. Evening. What you up to, bud? Looking for a ghost while my friend visits her mom's grave. You? I'm the grave digger, groundskeeper, what have ya. Can we talk shop for a sec? Shoot. You dig the graves with a shovel? You get spooked out here all by your lonesome. Well, let's talk about that. I do, um, I forget what country it is, but I know there are some places where, um, basically the graveyards that there's not a whole lot more space, so they do hire people to dig them with shovels rather than excavators still. Because that's the only way to get precise enough. And they hold, like, competitions. It's kind of neat. Bit macabre and morbid, but cool. You'd dig the graves with a shovel? In the pale moonlight? When the ghost stalked the rose? Nah, we got a little backhoe. There we go. Scares the ghost away too, I reckon. This job pay well? You thinking about digging graves? Depends on the pay. Hmm, not much. Oh. I'm a wedding DJ on the side. Friggin' sweet! I will rock you hard. Sounds great, my man. Well, see ya. Good luck finding your ghost. I do love that he... Grave guy. Career idea. Grave digger. Good monster truck. I love that he deals with the end of life with the grave digging and sort of... I guess wedding isn't necessarily beginning of life, but it's often kind of a celebration of life in the sense of um, you know, something beginning, people having a kid eventually and so on. So, sort of bookending stuff. Poetic. Hey, uh, how'd it go? Fine. She's still there. Were you worried that... You know how we've been having sinkhole problems in town? Yes. And that's what was wrong with your street. Anyway, my mom's buried in a pretty low spot. Couldn't afford the hill. So, I was worried. Like, you're worried the ground's just gonna, like, cave in? What part of sinkhole is so difficult to understand? We're in a graveyard. They shouldn't make these where sinkholes are a problem. <laughs> well, most of California is built on a fault line, and that didn't stop them. <laughs> yeah, and they shouldn't build towns that flood. And yet, here we are. Okay, you ready? You know, when I was down there, I think I heard music from the top of the hill. And like, voices? Huh, that's a... Spooky? Yeah, not sure what's going on up there. Let's go find out. You coming? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Spooky ghosts. Can we climb up? Yes. Okay. Spooky ghost hill. I'm... I can't imagine it's ghosts. <laughs> I'm not too terrified. Okay, ominous lighting. Oh, I okay, I remember this. <laughs> oh, weary travelers. You seek answers among the dead. But they shall give you none. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, guys. Do you know these kids? Uh, yeah, we've met. What are y'all doing? <laughs> okay, so... We are the keepers of the gate. There's a literal gate you're sitting in front of. We govern who shall pass, and who shall remain. All right, well, answer us these questions truthfully. What? And you may pass into the realms of the dead. Okay, 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 fine, whatever. Get on with it. First question. Have you ever done it? Done it? You can just call it sex. We're grown-ups here. Well, we are at least. Answer! Uh... No? Never got around to it. 
and Anju. Yeah. What? When? Summer before 11th grade. Really? How did I not know this? Mm, this was when you weren't talking to me. Who? Who did this happen with? Ugh, you don't know him. Was that a math camp? Math camp? What is math camp? You go and like do like math stuff and camp stuff and apparently have lots of sex? It wasn't good. Top-notch math though. This is boring. Next question. Jeez, fine. Describe your dream date. I've lost track of which of the three is talking. The speech bubbles aren't super clear. These are the stupidest questions. Yeah, don't you want to ask something like spooky at least? Dream date. Okay, fine. Uh, he'd be tall, dress cool, really smart, likes good music. We go to the movies. Boring. You? Wrestling. Like, you're gonna wrestle, or you're gonna, like, watch wrestling? Go see wrestling. I could wrestle. Well, let's, let's go see wrestling. Yeah, they buy us tickets. They? Guy or gal, I'm not picky. And we drive out to Hucklesburg and the convention center, and we watch Unstoppable Hayseed versus the Impending Kronk and eat corn dogs. Ugh, I could eat a corn dog right now. I don't watch wrestling. I do. It's great. Nobody cares. What do you want from me? Next question. What is your most embarrassing experience? What? Just go with it. Answer. One time I farted in front of the class. <laughs> That's it. What were you expecting? Okay, that sucked. Now you go. Uh, oh god. One time in junior high, one time in high school. Well, we've been avoiding telling everyone about college. So... Let's spill our guts to three random goth kids who pretend they know the future. One time in college, there was this cute girl I saw at the cafeteria, like, a few times a week. I guess our schedules lined up or something, which is weird about college, it's like a little town. Cut to the chase. Jeez. Okay, so... Got up the nerve to talk to her. I followed her out into the hallway, and I don't know why, but I shouted, Hey! She turned around, and, 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 all I could do was wave? Ugh. This is funny. And, and, and. And then I turned around and tried to walk away all cool, but I ran into this doorframe right behind me, and it hurt, and I staggered back and, and, fell into the trash can outside the cafeteria. My face went into trash spaghetti. Holy shit, dude. Continue. And I, like, flailed until the trash tipped over. And I got up and the girl had had, she'd watched all of it. I tried to give her the smile, like, I'd somehow meant to do that, but it turns out I'd swallowed some of the trash, spaghetti, and, and, and I puked all over myself. No wonder you came home. Oh, shut up. <laughs> That's a lot. That's not... <laughs> That's not the kind of traumatic experience I'd expect. Um, I think there's ways to recover from that, but I guess she did also say that she didn't make a lot of friends there, so that kind of... If you've got an established friend group, that becomes a funny story, and you can build on it, you can recover, you can bounce back, but if you haven't established that friend group, I, I can understand. That's probably... That's probably new school worthy. <laughs> that, okay. That does suck. Wow, that's messed up. I'm going to throw up. Thanks for nothing. You have come to face to face with your lowest moment. You may pass unburdened. Unburdened? Yeah, for real. 
Okay, let us pass already. The power to pass with in your hands all along what what in the effing hell you may go god damn it go to hell teens <laughs> I hate everything right now forget it let's go that was mean but I'm still- they did say that we would, like, find pentagrams around town, and I have found none of them, and I've been looking! So... They're just kinda jerks in general. So, like... Ghosts. Ghosts? Like, I don't know if I believe in them, but... Yeah? So, you know how you said that you've been seeing ghosts at night? I mean, I don't super believe it's not just dreams. Because obviously it's dreams. Okay, that's certainly your take on it. But, like, did you ever see my mom? No. I'm not going to lie. Even if that gets her on board, that's cruel. I mean, I can't really tell. And I don't think the ghosts were, like, people? They're, like, they're not sitting around being ghosts. It's more like echoes? Echoes of shit that happened and people that were here? Reminds me of the Central European countries where the village residents stomp on grapes and fruit barefooted and squeeze juice from them in containers and stuff like that. Yeah, that's, um... That's, uh, there's actually, uh, really quite neat. That's, um, I think I've mentioned before, I'm part of a hiking group that has, like, a lot of, um, Italian heritage. Um, and we've gotten together, there's, like, a celebration of Italian culture, uh, thing that's kind of cheesy and schlocky, um, where I'm from. But, uh, part of that is a grape stomp, and I've done that before. It's very cold, it's very messy, but it's a lot of fun. Um, it's just... It, it is very quaint and neat to watch. Doing it, you're more just, please get me out of here and get my feet warm. I'm actually... <laughs> can't see them since I'm a little ink blob, but I'm actually wearing pants that I bought specifically for the Grape Stomp because everything you have gets stained. So do not wear anything that you want to use again. Unless it's lounging around the house. <laughs> Echoes of shit that happened and people that were here? Hmm. Oh. Trust me. None of the places looked like super much fun. Your mom was rad as hell. Too rad to hang out there. Uh huh, that's like... I appreciate you trying to turn this around. That is, so... This is, I've prattled on ad nauseum about, um this talking about like the echoes of ghosts and places um sort of the spirits of things being left behind but that is i do appreciate even though there are people that she's not they aren't people it's echoes of the events which is a sort of interesting way to split it i know cholera we've talked a little bit with like evangelion and like uh sort of the con other people's concepts of us and whether or not they're alive or have their own independence um, obviously May on some level thinks that the memories that people have can kind of exist separately. And that's again back to like Gurn's Back Continuum and Semiotic Ghosts. There's like a collective subconscious of things that May sort of think she's tapping into, even if she's not saying it in so many words and such. It's interesting. Um, yeah. The, the, this game is a lot more on the nose about some of these thoughts that I thought were cool and unique, but it's interesting. I appreciate you trying to turn this around. I'm doing my best, Beatrice. Alright, anyway. So, the bad news is that we're locked out. By that big-ass gate. Ugh, why make a giant gate in a graveyard? Um, to keep people like you out? And stop what you're probably gonna do? Huh, yeah, we'll never know for sure. Alright, well, I'm not climbing it. Go do your thing. My thing? You're good at this kind of thing. Brute force and shit? Jeez, gotta do everything around here. It's your ghost. I'm just the driver. Driver of the dead. Fine, hang out. I'll be back. Okay. We are getting to do crimes. Ooh, okay. Another little platforming section. Doo -doo -doo. 
That seems... <laughs> seems sketch. We were scared enough of jumping off a bridge. Not sure that jumping into a graveyard. There's no way I'm going to leave B behind. Ugh, Beatrice. Just learn to jump. Not with those scrawny legs, I guess. Where do I break that gate open? Good question. Uh... I was kind of figuring there wasn't anything there, so... Can we... Ooh! I wonder, kind of like we were doing at the very start of the game, can we jump on the branch and break it? No. That's not moving. Yes, okay. We are powerful! <laughs> uh huh. I sure hope nobody saw that. We're gonna get sued. I don't think anyone's back here, and it's getting late. Mm hmm. You're welcome, by the way. Yeah, see, I told you you're good at this. My back hurts. So, what do we need to do? Uh, I'm gonna go find Little Joe's grave, and if he doesn't show up, I'm gonna knock on it until he does. You're not allowed to destroy anything, May. Okay, fine, whatever, let's go. I think we burnt that bridge already? <laughs> uh. <laughs> but, you know, uh, okay. Sure, B. We won't destroy anything more. Joe Shade. Yeah, this is him. Ground here is all swampy. Ugh, gross. So, what do we do here? Um, I guess I'm gonna just look around? For ghosts? Ugh, don't make this a thing. It's not a thing. It's cool. May, I am here for you right now. Sorry, you had a tone. Tone, st tone stowed. Thank you. That's, I guess, I I don't really have a voice for me, I just have a tone, so... <laughs> Any ghosts over there? No, B. You'd know. I'd say. Uh -huh, okay, okay. How do I do B without a tone? This grave is for a horse, I think? I don't think they ever buried horses in people graves. Imagine the big horse-sized coffin. Imagine. Somewhat goofy and upsetting thought, a friend at one point was like, you know, coffins. If the bones stick around much longer than the rest of the person, during an earthquake, do you think they just go rattle rattle? That just sometimes crops up when I really would rather it didn't. <laughs> and now I share it with all of you. I found some old stuff. What kind of old stuff? Graves? Wow. Okay, so we've kind of looked at everything. And yeah, fantastic, mate. The old graves. This is stupid. What were you expecting? Something. It's just stupid. He didn't pop out of the ground or anything. Is, is that what you were expecting to happen? This is stupid. I'm going to smash his shit up. Uh, whoa, dude. Hold up. No. Wakey, wakey, little Joe! Okay. Oh, I can jump now. Uh... What can I jump on? No. Can I jump up on the other old graves? I'm trying the C button, which we've used to smash stuff before. Not working. Okay. Oh, do we just jump on it? Oh! Yes, we can jump- <laughs> We're jumping on someone's grave! That's not cool. Okay. Holy shit. Holy shit! What did you do? You were right! About what? I didn't tell you to do that? About the sinkholes. We're lucky it wasn't deeper. Wait, is that- Yeah, that's a coffin. Oh, crap. So, we're gonna- Open it, right? No, we're not going to open a coffin with a rotting corpse in it. B, it's been a long time. He's not rotting anymore. 
Jeez, God, we are not doing this. We are leaving. It's not a rotting corpse. It's just a corpse. What could go wrong? Aren't you kind of curious, at least? Mm. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's do this. You're doing it. I am standing here. Oh my gosh, interactive coffin opening? Ugh. Okay. Okay. I'll count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Uh. Oh, the handle's up there. Uh. Oh no. It's just bones. Uh. <laughs> That's, I could see it slightly before, so less scary. But, okay. So what, foul play? Who knows? We're detectives. We're not. We're like criminal vandals. Or like grave robbers or something. Yeah, that's... I mean, hey. Time-honored tradition. There's a reason why the pyramids were built, but like... <laughs> uh, those two. We're a lot of things right now. Shh. What? So there's someone back there watching us? Oh god. I don't know where they went. Just like, out of the corner of my eye. Is it? I don't know. But we need to leave. Now. It could be the ghost. No, we're gone. Now. Okay, fine. Jeez. B has the correct thought that- Oh! That's the same figure that we saw- That we think we saw kidnap and stab someone. I was thinking it might just be the gravedigger guy. But, no. Well, that was weird, huh? Weird? That was not weird. That was a crime. Did you see the ghost? He was there. How do you know the ghost is a dude? Mm, okay, fine. But he was there. May, it was the groundskeeper or something. B and I are on the same wavelength. Investigating who is ruining his graveyard. How do you know the groundskeeper is a dude? Oh, shut up. Ah, I saw the effing ghost. We saw someone. There are other people in the graveyard, you know? Ugh, whatever. We're leaving before the cops get here. Yikes, okay. Skull hole! Little Joe's dang skull. Oh, I didn't even know- so it had a crack in it, so... Some sort of traumatic injury. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? Saw him. I mean, there was the mine explosion. We might have just died in that. Something fell on his head. Hey, Dad. Hey, you? You okay? Yeah, weird night. You look really worn out. Yeah. Jeez, I am sore tonight. Need a back brace or something. <laughs> Posture check? <laughs> How do you do it? Do what? Always running and jumping around all crazy. I don't know. I mean, I'm really out of shape. I don't think I've ever been in shape. I used to be, but that was because of my job. New job don't require much like that. Yeah. Heard you and your mom went out on an adventure today? Oh, right. We That was earlier today. Uh, yeah. She talked about it all through dinner. We should, you know, be home for dinner some sometime. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Go to bed, you. Will do. Mending relationships with the folks. They still don't know why I'm back, but... Being nice to them probably goes a long way. I think I'll try and go visit one more thing, and then we'll call it for today. Oh my gosh! Oh, we got... Um, we went... I guess sort of dredging earlier, um, we, there was one of our old teachers, um, who was afraid of bats and apparently as a side hustle sort of goes through the sewers and had us try and fend off the bats with the light for him and we went and scavenged stuff and we scavenged first an old fire axe right here, which we said we would sharpen to keep our murdering options open. We also got some cool vampire teeth. Glow in the dark, even. Fancy. And we got a lock and key because we felt that it would just kind of be wrong. Someone's hopes and dreams were there was something they wanted to keep safe or protect. So we've got all three. 
again, this game is amazing in the small details. AB, you awake? I very much am. Doing bills and eating a grilled cheese. What's up? Hey, sorry I kinda wrecked the cemetery. She's not the one you need to apologize to. I know that's not something you'd normally want to do. It's okay. I know you didn't mean to. I mean, what's a grave defilement or two? How about that ghost, though? Nate, seriously? It was the groundskeeper. B? What? It was, like, right there. It was totally the same guy from the other night. It was just a normal dude. How could you even make him out anyway? It was so foggy. You could tell, okay? I could feel it. Honestly, we're lucky it was so foggy, or he'd be able to identify us to the police. Ah, uh, fine, whatever. Sorry I made you mad? It's fine, it's fine. Thanks for going with me. I drove, you came with me. Okay, thanks for going. You're welcome. Get some sleep, you need it. I so do. Night, dude. Good night. Okay. Greg? Hey, hey, hey! Yo, yo, yo! Dude. Hey, hey, hey! How was your spooky night? Dude, we went to the cemetery, and we accidentally, like, opened up a coffin. It was totally like the corpse of the ghost, or, you know, what I mean. Whoa, and it was like effing nuts, man. Did you see your ghost? I totally did. Must be on the right track. Dude's probably pissed that you messed with his grave. Oh, you're right. Whatever. Okay, I'm going to bed. Good job on, like, all of that. You, kn you know it, dude. Good night as hell, bruh. Good night is F. Alright, we get our sleep. We check the town. We go to the historical society with Greg. And then we'll leave going with Angus and presumably the last bit for tomorrow. Oh, another dream? So we've been having dreams that were like super multicolored and screwed up with weird shapes. This is just the void. I can move. I can't move up. Okay. This is different. So maybe this will be the last thing for today. We'll we'll see where this goes. Is this just wandering forever? Like, at some point, I turn back and see if it... Okay, that looks different. There's the annular eclipse. Now, that's something I'd never noticed before. I was like, oh, it's an annular eclipse. You can see the stars through the dark part. So, it's a hole in the moon. Or, again, this is a weird dreamscape, so it doesn't necessarily need to make sense, but that's not just a moon undergoing a... Hello! You seem like a big cat with freaky eyes. I am a small cat, also with freaky eyes. We should be friends, and you should not cause me severe psychic trauma. Hello? Can you talk? Yes. For some reason, you're the first thing I've thought to talk to. Are you... God? No. Oh. So... Seconds ago, little creatures are coming, and they are asking if I am God. I am asking what God is. They're kind of talking in a third person there, huh? Okay. And they are telling me, and I am not this God. And this God is nowhere. So, the God that we believe in is nowhere? Well, you can't see God. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Well, that's where faith comes in, I guess. Little creatures are explaining faith, and moments ago is the beginning, and I am here then and here now. 
and there is nowhere for God to be hiding. Hmm. So what am I doing here? Monstrous existence. No, I mean, what am I doing here? What are you? What are those other giant animals? Have I been seeing ghosts? There were like bits of the world. I think I was on a train, but it was like a town? It's all... Ugh, I lost it. Okay, so... A great beast is walking through the sands, and they are climbing into the air. And now they are making a tear, and now they are gone, and now you are here. A great beast is walking through the sand, they are making a tear, and now you're here. Sand associated with time? We've been talking about endings and beginnings. Let's be specific. A, a tear? With their hooves, they are making a tear. Little creatures are wandering through the air, and they are dragging in places and echoes of lives. Hmm. What we've been talking about. The ghosts of things. And they are asking me about God. So we're dragging them in, but we don't have hooves. My head hurts. I'm going to tell you something, little creature. You are swimming further and further out to sea, and beyond are things blind and terrible, and I am showing you now. Okay. Lovecraftian mites. Uh, oh god, oh god. They are blind, but they are seeing you, and you are coming to them. After this, you are not returning here. I am climbing into the air and closing the sky. Why? Closing the sky? Yes. Okay. I will tell you a second thing. There is a hole at the center of everything and it is always growing. Between the stars I am seeing it. It is coming, and you are not escaping, and the universe is forgetting you, and the universe is being forgotten, and there is nothing to remember it, not even the things beyond, and now there is only the whole. So we've talked about emptiness a lot, they sought God in the lonely places, if the sky is there, uh, the goths said something to the effect of, um, is it enough to be a good watcher if the sky is empty? They're looking at the empty spaces between the stars, something about a hole, not the hole in the skull, I assume? I don't know. That's, I, just... it feels very intentional and I'm not sure in what way. So does anything mean anything? This is not a question worth answering. That I agree with. That's, I've thought about meaning a lot, and I've often found that the best answer is that meaning is what you make it, and spending too much time worrying about it is often meaningless, because it's hard to ascribe meaning to the wondering without productivity. What about my home? What about my friends? What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? Hmm. So, your place, and the place with others? And what about nature? What about trees in the fall? What about the leaves? Bare existence, meaning nothing. You are atoms, and your atoms are not caring if you are existing. Your atoms are monstrous existence. That phrase again. Monstrous existence? Existing without purpose? Without caring? Then why am I here, goddammit? Why was I chosen to see all of this? Where is this going? Little creature, you are not chosen. There is no one to choose you. This is going nowhere. We are not meeting again. And the universe is forgetting you. And I am remembering you. But not because I am caring. The beginning is moments ago. The end is moments away. There is no time to forget before all is forgotten. Goodbye, little creature.
So it claims not to be God, or at least it claims not to be the God that we are thinking of when we explain to it what is God. We're track something is tracking in these memories and echoes of existence. Presumably us. I mean, yes, this is all in May's head, but this is also, you know, it's a game that someone made. They're trying to say things. So what, how is May, what is that a manifestation of to May? I don't know. But it is 4 p.m. PST which is when I was going to wrap this up, because I do have things to do. Unfortunately, I'd love to do more of the game, but I know I'll just get sucked into it. So, I think I'm going to let this percolate, and tomorrow we'll hopefully be able to get through it in two-ish hours. I may be able to push a little longer. If not, I may try and do a bonus stream the day after. We'll see. But, I'm going to think on the weird cat of God, not God, and figure that out and have some more thoughts for y'all tomorrow so that in mind thank you all very much for watching it's always lovely to have some folks along with us along with us it's always good to have some folks along for the ride so thank you farewell fare thee well you lovely loquacious plebiscites <laughs> you always use words that i know i need to go look up in a dictionary afterwards cholera um <laughs> Thank you all for watching. It's lovely to have folks along. Have a lovely rest of your day, and hopefully get to see you all tomorrow. Bye.